morning i hope you are having a better day than i am because i just realized that half of the video i recorded yesterday was in slow-mo <laughs> all my talking <clears throat> showing you sally it was all in slow-mo but it's okay nothing small i'm crossing to gambia today mostly because i want to leave this whole place without having to deal with the documents so i say i spent 10 days covering both senegal and gambia which i think is plenty of time but i still want a bit more time anyways i spent time in sally stayed in this hotel slept in this car can't um did my wash in the spa area girl is clean i need food though i had food yesterday but it was just the meat the grill meat i bought which was juicy i couldn't record it it's still here i don't know if i'm still gonna do something to it but we have it here but i want proper breakfast and especially coffee there's this place called sisterhood cafe so i'm like i need to check that out and the reviews are looking good so i'm gonna head there um and then cross the border to camp so i'll be leaving here i believe around 11 um it's a three hours drive so i'll be getting there around four three hours drive kind of thing i'll be getting there around two pelumi 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 yes and you my ali 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 yes pleasure ali ali jaber thank you for the compliment do you live here yes you live in Sali? yes where are you from local Sali, v, you know, yeah Spanish. you were born here yes okay nice you you me i was born in nigeria Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. So I drive from London to Lagos to Nigeria. <laughs> Is that your me. card? It's me. Sava. Okay. Nice. You have a show today? Yeah, today I am show in uh, Ram. Ram? Hotel Ram. What time? Nine. Nine, nine p.m. Come on. I'll see you. Come on. No problem. Yes. <laughs> It's like London. <laughs> I'm trying to catch more of this engagement. It's a bit awkward because while I'm talking, I'm having to like, you know, adjust the camera and everything. But he's such a lovely guy. <laughs> That's him in his bike. I was trying to get if he was like a local and I said because it looked a bit Caucasian. So I wasn't sure, but he spoke the language and everything. Anyways, this cafe should be right here. It's literally two minutes drive. I don't know why I did not just walk it, but sometimes like I'm late. Ooh. Sisterhood is right here. Okay, I guess I can put my car here. So this is a coffee. Anything that is Bohemian, always wear my son. It says I'm, I'm still I'm sold already. So let's see what food looks like. Would you mother? Bonjour. Ça va? Morning. Out of the Sahara Desert. Sahara, yes, so Sahara, Sahara, between Sahara and um, Mauritania, Mauritania, there's a yeah. patch of land called Norman Land, okay. which is not owned by the Moroccan or the Mauritania. So it's just it terrible. To the planet. Oh my God, it was scary driving there because wow. nobody <laughs> takes care of nobody takes care of it. So it's, it's it's not a road. It's just puddles basically. It's yeah. like and for my small car, I was just like, I do not want to bring down here of all places. Gosh. And it can be quite because there's no government like basically. Yes. So it's the opportunity for people to run yeah. exactly yes. because there's no legislation for any size. So I was like this is not where I want to break down but we made it. <laughs> no that was just a quick one. Like okay. a few few I would hours. say a few not to now. It's just it's about a, a kilometer and a half. So it's you not that bad. It was daytime. Okay. It has to be daytime crossing. I tried to drive during the day. Sometimes I was one time I got stuck out at night and the police checked me up and was like what are you doing? <laughs> like it's fucking clear. Like what? Girl, get yourself home. Wow. 
Okay. <laughs> now Mauritania. When Mauritania. Okay. This is this I was very impressive about because we just have polished slavery like 20, 2007, so it's quite fresh in that. So it's like how would they treat a woman and you know that kind of thing. But it was a pleasant surprise. Like they were very open, very welcome, very warm. So yeah, this I, is still a journey. Okay, so <laughs> after Mauritania, where are we now? We're getting to Senegal. That's it. So you're crossing to Mauritania. Senegal. Yeah, Mauritania. Yeah, is Mauritania. Just like you got all these Mauritanians. Yeah. Here. So go to Senegal border, and they're like, oh, you don't have your carnet de passe, which is a card document that says you plan not to. You're not still in the car. Like it's yours, and you want to, you're not gonna sell it. But to get that was about three thousand dollars in the U- UK. Okay. Because it's like a deposit that you get back. But I wasn't sure if I was gonna take the car back, okay. so I didn't get it. So it's like, well, you can't go in. It's like, oh, please. <laughs> they weren't going to let you in. They weren't going to let me in. So we did a whole camping in front of the border for Senegal. And I think at one point, just felt sorry for me. Just like, okay, you can go. <laughs> How long did where, you start? About a month, shy months now. So yeah. where? About one month. month. Where, yeah. where did they let you in in Senegal with the entry? In Senegal, it was the, those the two of them. This Rosa, which is notorious for just being horrible, and this one called that da, 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 Diana Diana border, which is a bit more lenient. That's what I heard. So you're coming from the north, coming to Saint Louis is the first. Saint Louis, okay. Mm-hmm. Come mm-hmm. Down. So I stayed in Saint Louis for a bit. Then How do you like Saint Louis? I love this. Do you want to leave? I want to go. Do you want to leave? Amazing, 10 out of 10. Really? Really good. Because I stayed in like the natural reserves as well, so, mm-hmm. which is peaceful. I think I just needed that for all the drama. Yes, so. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> then you drove from San Luis. To Dakar. To Spent Dakar. some time in Dakar, look at the statue and all of that. Yeah, yeah, Korea so, Island. Yeah, yeah, the yes. Korea Island. And then came down here yesterday. Look at her, but she's angry. No, no, no. She can't say she's here, but I'm. A lion. A lion. She said, cat. You're a liar. You're a liar. Makes it sleepy. You're a liar. Right? It's just like, so you, you never, nothing you is guaranteed. You just have to get up and do it. Yeah. You know, no at the end, yeah. asked. At the end of the day, like, yeah. you know, when you ask people, it's mostly the things they don't do than yeah. the things they do that That's they regret. True. It's like, oh, I wish true. I did this. I just, I don't want to end life with yeah. that. It's like, give everything. Yeah. What comes, what Amazing. happens, happens. Can I give you a hug? <laughs> I needed this more than you can Make simple clear. So I was meant to go to the Gambia today But I've left the coffee shop so late And apparently the last ferries can be funny Anyway, border crossings are just much better When you cross in the morning So I'm just going to drive as close to the possible A village or something Taking the last bit of, excuse me, of Senegal And then, you know, make my way first in into the Gambia I like it, I like the sound of that It just gives me less anxiety than trying to do it today so that's the plan it's been such a joyful experience i've met people that are just so excited about london to lagos road trip why am i burping so much sorry guys um london to lagos road trip and everything and i'm thinking maybe i might need some data because this data i he, the guy at the border bought me some and then i bought five thousand ciphers and it's been well i've been connected to wi-fi quite a bit I don't want to die on the way, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. So anyways, just meeting people, my content being shared and people rec- not recognizing me, but like saying, oh my God, I've seen you, I've seen your content before. It's just, it's crazy the influence you can have. Like this is what influence feels like, like damn. Um, but anyways, this is a three, oh, just so Christy. This is a three hour, 21 minutes drive. I should be getting there around 5.30. I'll see if I can still get a sunset cruise like a boat or something because I really wanted to see the salt pans but if it doesn't happen I'm not going to be upset either I'll just be closer to the border than anything I'm legit living my best life this is the meat from yesterday I had some yesterday night now I'm eating leftover I think it's better the next day Marination gains the meat back on this tall business. I think it's 1005 for this particular one. I'm seeing it in this meat. Do I have to have the money? A question. Do I need to pay? <laughs> it's just a card they give you, and then you pay on the other side. I think this is where you collect the card. 
yeah. Just give you the card here. Mexi Boku. So this blue card. Sorry, it's called Paji Auto Ruta. Blah, blah, blah. Who is warm out here? Imagine crossing the, the, the border in this heat. Got into the part of the world where there is lots of um red clay. Oh man. Funny story, I started craving Gary. Mm -hmm. I guess he's gonna drink Gary. Can't stop like this just because of Gary. That car behind him was coming way too fast, so let him pass. Um I am craving it so this way safe to stop. And soak me some Gary. Going to Gambia. Go tomorrow now. I speak English in Gambia, so that will be interesting. There doesn't seem to be much to do. There's that cooking class I want to do, which I can do the next day. Oh, petrol station, perfect place to soak some gari. I don't think I'm buying petrol. Only for me to not. Funny enough, I've not drinking as I've not drank as much as. I thought I will. I've barely gone through one bag. I bought five of these. I don't know what I was thinking. Let me go grab my bowl and then we'll drink Gary together. And the milk that this guy gave to me is cow milk. I've tried to avoid cow milk, but I don't want it to go to waste this stuff. He gave me at the border when I was crossing into Senegal for making me sleep overnight. Oh, sugar is. Damn, sugar is. Um, sugar is in the boots. I might just have this without no sugar, bro. Because I can't be bothered to get up to go get that. I'm gonna have some plain Gary. I'm trying to see if I. Oh, yeah, I do have sugar. Oh, God is good. Sometimes for my extra coffee, some guy gave me two two sugars. So I put it inside this um, chewing gum container that I had in the car. He's a provider. He will provide for you. We have our combo here. We are in more milk. I don't like this Gary swells though. I don't know what Gary it is. I think it was the Jebu one I bought. Like small goes a long way. Look how much is drunk all that milk. Going to finish everything. Because me, I don't like my Gary Kiki. I like it with some um with some fluid, you know. Some people like it like you know. But yeah, this is too cakey for me. I can't enjoy this. I'm gonna drink some. No, I'll do. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the episode where I was almost choking on Gary. But we don't have a, a redo of that. Mm. Have some more milk. Wow, oh, finish your carton of milk. That's wild. Oh, that's almost spilling. Got the spills. It's gonna hold me to dinner and beyond, probably. Still cakey. Damn, how much curry did I put in this damn bowl? Whew, we are one hour fifty-four minutes. I've been listening to cereal the criminal podcast true crime podcast kind of vibe it's been juicy 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 something to keep my brain going while i do this drive Ooh, getting there for 1754 what's been there? i think because i have like a blackout curtain at the back is asking why is it blacked out this should be interesting. Okay. We got popo -po problem. Whoa! Ah, the. Okay. It's come, let me show you. It's removable. It's just a cotton. Because I come in the sleep inside. It's just cotton. It's removed. It's normal. 
What is the For this one, this is normal, it's visible. You can see the car. Okay, this is new because I came through the border like this and nobody said anything. No they gave me the documentation with that. I understand. Sir, yes. Sir. But when I was coming from Mauritania, there's no controversy because this is not a problem. That's the, there's no problem with this because you can see the car is visible. No, you may be the sun. Okay, come, come, Mrs. Hey, right. uh, there's no controversy. That's what I'm saying, police. See, see. I come from the border. You, police, okay. check my car. And no problem. Don't you come I right the queue. You go to the police you say. I'm not doing it because I didn't do any problem. Police, I'm not going anywhere. It's taking my nonsense, so I actually need to go. I need to pee. That's the problem. Okay, I need to pee oh. I need to go to the toilet. I need to pee. You want me to come there? Why not here? It's safe here. The car, it has all my valuable. It, this has my valuable, so I have to stay with my car. This, I live. This is my house. Monsieur, my mansion is this. If I go, someone take my car, big problem. Okay, but you are not explaining the problem. Come, you come, because I cross border from Senegal. I cross, I cross from Mauritania. Look, 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 I'm doing long, from London to Lagos. No I cross, you, you, you go to tea. No I go, okay. you leave me to go? No, no, you go to pee. To pee? Yeah, yes. No, it's, I want to go because I have to catch ferry. Border crossing to Gambia, I got, I missed ferry today. A big problem, yeah. Is your first time? First time. First, first time. <laughs> you forgive me? Forgive me? Please forgive me. Please. Huh? Thank you, officer. Oh, to Jackie Law. Maxi! Maxi Boku! I said, this is my mansion. This is my house. Please, I'm going to catch a ferry. Ah, for tinted window. I like Cuba. I even removed the, <laughs> I removed the blackout curtain because I normally have the blackout curtain on all the time so that people don't see the back of my car. Obviously it has my bed and everything. You want that to be like visible all the time. But no one has complained. No one stopped me in, in... Where did I put my driving license? The drama is plenty. It was on the phone. I just started shouting. You just, these people... Eh? Where's the insurance paper? Okay, sir. <laughs> these people, you just have to do madness for them. Say, go and pee. I say, ah, this is my house. We cannot leave our house alone. You just leave Lumi like that. Not possible. And I don't think Senegal is famous for its salt pan. I'm actually going to randomly stop here. Oh, can I get to it? <laughs> I'm going to randomly do a taste test right here. I'm going to stop right here. This is safe. And let's go taste some random salt. So, I'm trying to find the cleanest... <laughs> the cleanest part of the floor to lick. Girl, you've lost your marbles. I think I've lost it. I'm literally looking for the cleanest part of the floor to lick. It's all disgusting. But let's see. Let's do a taste test. This is salt, right? Oh, why is it so muddy as well? It's like I'm a child again. Oh yeah, that is de that is definitely salty. Yep, not so strong, but it's definitely there. So I'm out here licking salt off the ground. But what I wanted to see was these little holes, um, but I don't think I'll make it there today. But they have like this little farming where they f um, fetch out different variation and colors colors also it looks colorful i legit cannot make this stuff up they want us to use the road as they're as they're building this is too big a bump it's gonna it's gonna break my car it's too high i 
I hate driving in Senegal. How can you say that big ass bump right here isn't a problem? Senegalese road. May God have mercy. Ooh. Today's disruptors are goats. We see cow, we see goats, we see everything. Anytime I drive on roads that are not out and I be sandy, I'm low-key traumatized by me getting stuck in <laughs> um, in Mauritania, in the middle of the streets. I didn't even record it because I was so stressed that day. But I am four minutes from where I should be camping tonight. I want to grab sunset too. So I'm obsessed with the sunset. But this road, the best is just to drive ziggy ziggy zed. That way, your car tire doesn't get stuck. Gives you a bit of leverage, you know. So that's one hack I found to work, which is probably about an hour or less to the border now. So I'll cross first thing in the morning to the Gambia. Oh, wow. Oh, sugar, did I miss it? Oh, no. It's rerouted me. I missed my turn. So this is the place. Le Magulat. Oh, I was entering the gate, so I'm going to try. So I went knocking, knocking, knocking. Not a single person answered. Um, so I'm gonna try another place. This one is, let's see if they will accept me here. It's a one minute drive. Is this it? This one just called my not. Not me having to quickly check. So I did find the place, but the guy, didn't speak English, we tried to use Google Translate and it was saying that his boss has gone to Dakar and I guess it's the boss that makes decision if um, people can use the place of hotel um, but only to say they were open to you know people camping as well so I'm just heading to the other one so hopefully they are going to pay attention Hello! It's <laughs> about <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hello. Yes. You, speak English? you speak English, very good oh. English, very good English. <laughs> oh, we are sleeping tonight, and the banter is full on. <laughs> What's your name? Yeah. What's your name? My name is Mariama. 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 Pel and you? Pelumi. 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 Uh, uh, yes. 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 Uh, it is can nationality? Nigeria. Nigerian. Oui. Yes. 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 You like you? Okay, voilà. you <laughs> I vacation. Vacation. Holiday. Holiday. Yes. Yes. sweet welcome. They say you go, you come back. The boss gonna come back at around eight o'clock. So. I'm gonna go back to the first, the second place I wanted to do, but since they don't allow camping, so they recommended this instead. I don't know how much I'm paying, but whatever it is, it can be ridiculous. I'm sure it will allow me to take a shower and everything. So, eight o'clock, I'll come back. I have an hour to kill. This is what it looks like. I like to walk around sometimes because you're just driving so much. It's quite nice to just stretch your leg a little bit. Is the road there's lots of artists like i think something i would love to do in the future is just curate local artists i think i've said this before but in case i haven't have like a concept store is that what they're called like just local artists curated in like a really nice way um i'm so happy 
<laughs> I knew one and one day in Senegal was a good idea. Look at me. Um, but yeah, the welcome was so hilarious. So it's when they get a chance to practice. I try to say a few things in French only to respect the culture, but they really love it when you speak English, you know, and they try to practice on you. It's always a joy. Um, but this is what I mean, like local artists supporting their craft and just, you know, showcasing it to the world. But yeah, this is the second place. This is where I wanted to actually stay because right by the waters, but I said they don't do camping. So we'll come for food or whatever. And then I'll go back to sleep in the night. So this is about to be my view. Oh, I wish I came just a little bit earlier. I could have done like a little cheeky boat tour. But for now, we're just gonna enjoy this view. This is absolutely stunning. I'm gonna walk there still. Maybe lucky. Maybe someone's doing sunset cruise and they're like, you wanna jump on? I'll be like, hell yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. I don't think we're gonna get much of a sunset since such a cloud. Oh! Almost tripping over since such a cloudy day, but that noise you're hearing is ice. I was melting. Thought I'd be lucky to grab a boat ride. I'm just gonna sit here and take in the view because nothing beats a view like this. Not a single thing. Woo! Last day in Senegal. An absolute joy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Why? I'm so happy. It's this pocket of moment to just hold on to myself. I'm just like, wow, you're really here. You're really doing this. You're looking at this beautiful lake. You know, wow, you're really doing it. Yo, I was just sitting here in peace. And can you see those? Oh, you can't because these damn boats are disrupted. But it looks like dolphins. Like the fishes are literally coming out of the water like... Nah, this camera is doing the most. Like this. Yeah, the boat scared them off. There is no fins, the dolphins here? I don't think there is. But they were acting like it's coming it's the really same. Fear. Yeah. We have, we have an eyewitness. It wasn't just me. I'm not crazy. <laughs> no, I see. <laughs> Oh my god! I nearly think it's dolphins or they could be shark, but they are going like in a pack. So all you see in the water is just fishes coming out. I wasn't when I was came to sit here, I wasn't expecting to see this, but this is such an incredible sight. Oh my gosh. I wish I was in the boat right there now. <laughs> this is insane. So insane. They're still going. You can probably see like little thing. Try and zoom it over there. You see right there? Let's try times three zoom in. Look at that. It's just like a pack of family. You just keep going. Right, this is really zooming in, but you know. It's like I'm showing you CCTV camera footage. Well, it's a beautiful evening and I really wasn't expecting to see such a glorious sight. But yeah, that was a nice treat. That got me excited. Just left the resort, heading back to my accommodation. Oh, such a nice evening. Not anticipated at all. So we just see dolphins. Like, how cool is that? <sighs> now I feel happy about going to Gambia tomorrow. I don't know. I just had this very huge resistance about doing it today because of the freaking dolphin. Now I've seen them. <laughs> I'm really joking. I'm gonna get myself some sleep. The weather is only 25 minutes from here. I was shocked. I thought it would be like at least an hour. But I'm gonna be the first person out of here. It's like I can't even wake up like, <laughs> I would say, eight or something. I should be here. Yeah, seven, 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 eight. Wake up. Live for eight. Crossing two. Pretty nice. Really happy with that. So this is where I'll be sleeping tonight. I'm wild camping, which means I'll be sleeping in my car, but it's on a property, which means I have access to amenities like showers and all of that stuff. I've set up my tripod quickly because I want to show you what it takes to set up my car when I want to, what is it called, to sleep in it. I'm going to keep the kind of like um, opening and closing in terms of like leaving it open. 
I'll keep it a minimum because I don't want any mosquito actually coming inside. So the back is a great way to place to start because I need to take off the kitchen compartment. It's just literally removing those hinge, a quick pop up. And of course it doesn't work when I have camera on. <laughs> and do the same for the other side and I just shove it through this hole right here. It's taking longer because obviously I'm describing what I'm doing to you. I have this bag of laundry that I need to wash. I'm just gonna shove it in here so that is not where I'm gonna be sleeping. Then the next thing I need to grab is my blackout cotton, which is super easy. And make sure to put it on the front seat and on the back seat too as well. So it has magnets to it, which make it even easier to work with. And that is it on that side done and also there is a blackout cutting for the back of the what's it called what's that thing called <laughs> this is terrible all the english will have disappeared there's a blackout cutting for the rear window <laughs> that was too much effort which has velcro on it and it has velcro on it so that it sticks to the roof of the car because the car the roof is made out of like a material piece so velcro works really nice it's actually doubled so no light is coming in so that's my blackout cutting for the back and now i'm going to do the other side too as well so that's this mirror done now i'm adjusting the bed i'm keeping the front seat flattening out and flattening out the bed as well i'm going to do that quickly and that's done finally to protect the light from coming from the front of the car i have this massive blackout as well i said i'll make sure i'm closing the door because of mosquito this has been left wide open good for me we get beaten tonight and there you go i have it all set up now i can crawl in open the door crawl in put my shoes inside and i'm ready to sleep for the night i'll do a quick demonstration just for people that want to see exactly how i disappear into the car but this is for demonstration sake only i'm gonna come out and grab my my my, my camera okay bye oh this was good i showed you i actually have to crawl in for real <laughs> 